Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about variable naming rules, right? Okay, so before I start, let me just go ahead and create a comment here and I'm going to name it or, or type variable naming rules. Now, this is just a comment, okay? So um, it, it's, it's part of our code, all right, but it's not processed. It's just a comment. It's just like writing a note in our code. Okay, and it has to be, but basically it's anything on this line. All right. So now in the past videos, we've learned that we can define or we, we can um, declare a variable, right? We can declare a variable to only accept integers, right? And we can give it a name. We can call it, let's say, h. Now, we've also learned that we can initialize the, value, the variable, say, h to be equal to, let's say, 4, right? We've learned that we can do that. Now, although we haven't talked in detail about variables, which we, we are going to do it, but we... Um, we only, we only looked at, we only had an overview of it. We only, we only saw an overview of a variable, but we are definitely going to go to the details of, you know, how to create variables, you know, basically the details about it. For now, it's good you have the overview. All right, so let's talk about the variable name rules, the rules when, it, when, when you're naming your variables, right? So basically you can use any name to name, your, to, um, to name your variables except the keywords or the reserved words, which we, which we looked at in the last video. All right, so you can do that, but then there are some rules when it, w um, when it, when it comes to variable name, uh, naming. There are some rules, okay, that you have to follow when you're naming your variable, variables, even though um, they are not keywords. All right, so let's just start with the first, very first character. Right, the very first character of your variable, okay, it has to be lowercase letters a to z anywhere from anywhere any character between betwe between that lowercase a to z uppercase a to z it has to be a dollar sign or, or an underscore that's it it can be anything else so this letter a will be fine so if i compile compile this it's fine if i use a lowercase let's say letter b compile this it's fine if i use lowercase z it's fine it can start with lowercase letters a to z i can also use uppercase letters a like this and it should be fine i can use b and it's fine i can use z it's fine so lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z it can also start with a dollar sign so when i compile this see it's fine we are talking about the very first character of our variable name it can also start with an underscore so when you compile this we can see it's fine right Apart from these, you cannot start your, the, you, or you cannot uh, name your variable names with the first character being, so you cannot name your variable names with anything, okay, apart from uh, the, the things I just mentioned. When it comes to your, the very first character, when it comes to the very first character, you cannot use anything other than the, the lowercase letters A to Z, uppercase letters A to Z, a dollar sign, and an underscore. So let's try to use something else if you try to let's say declare this variable or name this variable when it starts with a hyphen and you compile it you can see that we have errors we have errors here three errors it's telling you it's, it's not state a statement it's not a statement you know a bunch of stuff over here just because you named it wrong the very first character has to be lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign or an underscore so if we try let's say something like let's say an ampersand and we compile it, it's not working. But as soon as we try something between the, the lowercase letters A to Z, let's say H, it works. Compilation completed. And we try uppercase U, sorry, U, it works. And we try a dollar sign, oops, it, it works. And we try an underscore, it works. Okay, so th those four things are the things you can, um, those four groups are things uh, uh, what you can use when you, when you, when it comes to the very first character of your names with your variable names lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign and an underscore for the first character that's it any anything that comes after your first character okay can be lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign an underscore and it can uh, and it can include numbers too and that this is just for anything after the very first character of your variable name so you can 
add, it can you can add lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign and underscore see just like the very first character but you can also add numbers to it and this is just for anything after the very first character of your variable name now for the very first character of your variable name you can't you can't start it with a number you can't say two g like you can't start it with a number when we try to compile it you can see we have errors here the only things you can start the very first character is well, the first the very first character with is lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign and an underscore and that's it anything apart from your very, your very first character so let's change this back to something legal like this okay so anything after your very first character can be lowercase letters a to z uppercase letters a to z a dollar sign an underscore and you can also include numbers so over here we can change this to two and we're fine when we compile it we're fine you can change this to let's say h2 because it's anything after the very first character h2 anything after the very first character when you compile this that works but you can't start it the first character with, with, num with a number all right so that's that, that's that's what you should look out for all right so one more thing actually a couple more um, a couple more things so you can't also define your variable names with a space for example you can't split this into two like this you can't say a, a, a ag space e2 when you compile it you're going to get a problem assuming you wanted to create a variable called let's say my name you can't do that you can't separate them with a space it doesn't know what it is you have errors here rather you'd have to put them together this way and my name becomes a variable but but then again although this my name is valid it's not really good practice to really name your variables this way and we'll talk about that in the next video <coughs> but this is valid though but, but it's not really good practice we'll, we'll talk about this in the next video so you can't put spaces in your variable names let's just take this back to h all right also the lowercase letter um, sorry the, the, the lowercase H, this H defined this way with all lowercase is different from H, right? So, upper, um, case sensitivity matters, right? So, if I tell the program to print out what's stored in H, now remember, in the print, oh sorry, let's say, either, either print or print ln will work. Print ln, we know that it's going to after printing out wh whatever is in the parentheses, it's going to move the position from where it had to the next line. It's going to create a new line after that. All right, so we want the program to go ahead and print out um, H. Well, let's initialize it to something. Let's say H is equal to two, right? So we want the program to print out what's stored in H. When we compile this and we run it, it prints out two, like we see over here. But when but we, when we tell it to print out age with a capital letter, and we compile compile it, it says over here cannot find symbol and what symbol uh, can it not find? Variable age with a capital. It, it it does not know what this age it, age is. You you may think that oh you declared you de you've declared age over here, but because this age and this age here are two different things. There are two different things because one starts with a lowercase, one, st one starts with a um, uppercase. Case sensitivity, uh, case sensitivity matters, All right? So it doesn't know what its age is, okay? It knows what an, uh, the age with a small uh, lowercase is, but it doesn't know what the, uh, age, what the age with the uppercase is, okay? Age, <laughs> it doesn't know what the age with the uppercase A is, right? So make sure that, you know, you are very, you know, sp specific when it comes to, um, Name your variables, okay? Lower uh, uh, um, case and safety matters. Case matters. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change this back to small letter a, small letter a when it, uh, with the age. Compile this, and then we can see that it's running. So in other words, let's, let's just take this away. In other words, int h is different from int h, right? It's also different from int age like this. Now this is a variable name. It's valid. It's valid, right? First letter is within the lowercase a to a to z. Anything after the after the first character, okay, is within the lowercase a to z. 
uppercase A to A to Z. So it's fine. So this is actually valid. But I'm just saying that age, this age is different from this age because one of this is capital. This age is different from this age because the G is a capital. This age, oops, int, is different from all of them. Basically, all these are different variables now. What is the different variables? I can set this to, oops, uh, we'll get to that lately. We, we, you haven't seen anything like that. For now, the way we've, we've been declaring variables is, is this way. We are saying, oops, here, sorry. We can say um, age is equal to two. That's that's how we're, we're doing it. And we can say age, this one, is equal to three, right? And we can say age, which is the, th um, the third one over here, is equal to five. And then age, as in, la oh, I'm sorry, as in this one, is equal to, let's say, six. Or in other words, let's just, let's, let's initialize them with values that match their order, right? So this is the first one, right? So let's name it, let's initialize it with one. This is the second one. Let, let's initialize it with two and three and four. And then let's create a syst uh, system dot out dot print statement, print ln statement, right? And then let's display age, which is the first one. Let's concatenate it with, let's say, the second one age, concatenate it with the third one, concatenate it with the, f the fourth one. We should expect to see one, two, three, four, right? So let's compile this and then run this. Actually, <laughs> actually, I, for some reason, I thought I was concatenating it with with strings. Now I talked about this. Okay, so it, it's gr it's good if you got it, right? It's good if you got it because your numbers they're actually going to be added together, right? But if you were concatenating it w with strings, that's when they will be displayed as one, two, three, four, right? But over here. If you got it, again, great. If you didn't get it, it's, you can watch the, the previous video. Or don't worry, as we as we do more videos, you, you, you get it. <laughs> but I didn't think about this. I thought I was concatenating it with a string. Like for, for some reason, I was thinking about that. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit hungry. Yeah, but so if there are numbers, they're actually going to be added. So let's actually concatenate them with strings over here. Let's concatenate them with a, with, with a space, okay, a space over here. And then concatenate the space to the second number and then concatenate that number to another string here with a space, concatenate this, the space with this number, concatenate this with a, a space, and then concatenate that with this number. So now we are concatenating the numbers to strings. I remember when you con when you concatenate a, num uh, a number to a string, this number is going to be converted to a string and displayed, right? So now we are just concatenating them. We are not really adding them because you can't really add a number to a string. When you try to do that, it will just join them. It will attach them together like, like a glue. We'll just fix them together. So now we are going to see one, two, three, four. <laughs> that, that's what I thought I was doing initially. Again, if there are numbers and there are no strings involved, if you just type in the numbers as arguments, separate them with plus signs, they are going to be added. We'll talk more about all of that, you know, when we when we talk about variables. But for now, I just want to, you know, illustrate to you that these are different variables, initialized with different values. So let's run this now, and we can see we're seeing one, two, three, four. And there are spaces in between them. This is just a space separating, separating them. Okay, separating them. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, so f follow these rules when you're naming variables and you should be just fine, right? If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time for the next video. All right then, bye-bye.